Hey, fool, you ready for another beating? You should have never came back. KC Middlestad up for Buffalo. Hold for one in shootouts this season. Moves in on Shesterkin and scores with a backhander. Look at this for hands. Now for the Hard to stop that. Kapokako moves in and he is stopped. Devin Levi and the Buffalo Sabres defeat the Rangers in the shootout. Start spreading the news I'm leaving today I want to be a part of New York, New York Rejoice, folks! Rejoice! <laughs> wow! I'm thrilled about this one, guys. Absolutely thrilled about this one. My goodness, he brought this right down to the wire. Lord. Oof. All right. Before I get talking, let's look at the, um, the what do you call it? The, let me get my, sorry guys. I wasn't ready. I'm so, so excited. And out of town kind of went our way, except Toronto was useless. They at least uh, pulled it off in overtime, but Toronto, you know, I was counting on them to win in regulation in Florida. It still helps, absolutely still helps. But we needed this. All right, guys, let's look at the numbers. All right, shots on goal, 38-28 Sabres. Face-offs, 44%, 56% for the Rangers. 0 for 2 on the power play. Our power play today was, eh, anyway. They were 1 for 2 on the power play. We had 13 hits, they had 15 hits. We had 12 blocks, they had 8. We had seven giveaways, they had 15. Shots on goal. First period, 14 to four Sabres. Uh, the boys came out flying and late in that period, a, a, a real bad giveaway, guys, uh, that created, I thought, that penalty that led to a momentum change in the game. We'll talk about that in a sec, though. Uh, second period, 13 to 12 Rangers. I thought the Sabres in that period just looked, what would the word be? A little scared. I guess that would be the word. And then third period, 11-7 Rangers, but I love the way the Sabres closed out the game. They kind of kept the Rangers at bay till late, 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 when Levi bailed us out late in the game. And then the, and the overtime, I mean, look at that, folks. 5-0 Sabres, and we win the game. What a game. 38-28 for the game. Scoring. Paterka gets his 12th of the year, 14-24. All Sabres really in the first till that non-check late in the late in the first that led to them getting a power play uh one nothing after one then panarin scores a pair in the second two one rangers and we're at the edge of our seat knowing this could be it middlestat comes through scores a tying goal forcing the overtime and of course middlestat gets the winner in the shootout now the standings right now florida with one point are at 92 we can actually still catch them if we went out all our games, we could still catch them. Um, we need Pittsburgh to lose a game. And we need the Islanders to, to not get more than a point in their last game, you know. But we're, again, guys, I'm just taking it one day at a time, one situation at a time. It, we're too, it's too tight. But there it is, folks. We're still alive going into game number 80. Wow. 7-1-1 one, one our last nine. The Sabres pulled this together at the right time this streak. And uh, can we, I don't know, can we actually manage <laughs> to, win, to win in um, New Jersey tomorrow? You know, this is it. Because if we can win this game in Jersey, okay? I want to check the out of town. If you notice, it's kind of a little different the way I'm doing this now because I'm checking everything out of town now also because... Everything has implications. The Capitals actually came through today. Maybe they were, I don't know, hungover or something. 
Um, okay, so we got Jersey tomorrow. What else is happening? Do we just make up one of the games in hand? Is that it? I think it is. Yes. So if the Sabres tomorrow get that to overtime, we're still alive. We are still alive. If they win, we'll be 89 points. We'll be two points and three points out of a playoff spot with two games left and one full game in hand with Ottawa and Columbus on the docket. Got to see tomorrow. Got to see tomorrow. The boys have got to come through tomorrow, folks. They absolutely got to figure out a win tomorrow so that this can go right down to the wire. You know, we're one win away. This is huge today. This is big. Um, I'm, I'm a little taken back by it all because in that third period, I don't know, guys, I wasn't, wasn't feeling great. I wasn't sure if they'd lose or win. Oh, guys, I got something stuck in my tooth. Okay, it's gone. Um, wow. Hey, geez. Just beautiful. All right, so I want to look at some of their numbers today. All right, let's forget about out of town, everything. Take a night off that, maybe. And look at some of the game. I was bitching all night about Dylan Cousins. He, he wound up having the most shots on goal for the Sabres. I just found Dylan was off his game today. Okay, he was off his game. He was making mistakes. You can't see it in the numbers, but he, was, he, he didn't play his best game. Dylan didn't play his best game. Middle stat showed up again. Again. He had another solid game. Um, and yeah, Dylan didn't even throw a hit. I wonder if something's going on with him. Physically, if he's hurting, you know. Alex Tuck, solid game. I thought he, um, yeah, solid game. Wasn't a high-hitting affair, folks. It was just really skill, a skill game. You know, and um, goalie versus goalie, really. It, that's really what it came down to in this game. It was good goaltending, both sides. Yeah, I was really, really happy with, uh, with the overall of this game. I just was. It just... Uh, let me just check something, guys. Yeah, it said 38-28. Get this. Now it says 39-28. Same exact clip. So you guys figure that out. And then when I look at the saves, okay. Ah, this is weird. Save shots, 37-39. Um, I don't know. Anyway, it's either 38 or 39, I guess. It says 39 now, because I'm, I'm back on the same exact clip. They do that sometimes. Anyway, we won. That's all that matters. So, um, Darlene, I, I thought, didn't play his best game either. Although he just came off an amazing game. There was some, uh, some, some of the guys today, I thought, uh, I thought Akposo looked slow out there, you know. But he had three shots on goal, so... Maybe I was just too nervous when I was watching. Overall, guys, it, it was a team win. You know, it was just a team win. We rallied in the third. We pushed it to overtime. We should have won in overtime. And I, I thought on that power play that we should have took more shots, which we didn't. But we found a way in the shootout. When they tied it up in that shootout, I was so mad. I was livid, guys. I'm telling you, I was livid. And then Middlestat scored again. You know, and then Levi, you seen him with the two pump fists after... He closed it out. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Devin, for closing the game out. Folks, I said it before. I'm going to say it again. We should go with Devin Levi tomorrow night. Go with Devin Levi. Put in the young goalie. He, he's fresh. He can, he can do it. He can go in there and just play another good game. Go with him. I think we should go with Devin into this game. Just my thoughts, you know. I, I don't think we will. Again, I'll say it. I don't think we will. But I've been wrong a few games in a row now, so we'll... I hope that streak continues and they put him in tomorrow. So, oh, we got a little visitor, folks. Come here. Yes, folks, there she is. And Rosie says, I'm back. 
I'm back to say hi to all you Buffalo folks. And we won the game. We pulled it out. Yes, we did. Hey. <laughs> cuckoo dog. He's your cuckoo dog. Hey, he's your cuckoo dog. So I'm really, really excited about this one, guys. Uh, I know Rome lost his mind and just left, so I don't know what's going on with Rome. All right, we'll put you down, little one. There you go. Wow, I'm just so relieved we won this game and that we're going right down to the wire. This is... Oh, speak of the devil. Ah, come on in. Come on in. We know how Rome feels about this game, folks. He's waited years for this. Yes, of course, of course. Rome says, well, you know what Rome says. He has something to say to the Rangers faithful. And their bid to finishing higher. You will be destroyed. You will be destroyed. There it is, folks. There it is. Go play. So, Rosie's jealous. <laughs> Are you jealous? Hey, eh? are you jealous? <laughs> She's giving me the look with the big eyes. Hey, eh? come here. Oh my goodness. All right, come here, come here. There you go. There you go. You okay now? Hmm? You okay? <laughs> there she is. Oh, she's a strange little one, I tell you. She watched the whole game with me. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. And yes, I made a video of it, folks. All right, now we've got to put you down because i got to finish this video. Come on. Yes, I made a reaction video, so I'll get that up at some point in a day or two. You know, we'll see. It's too much. I mean, that's, you know, I'm going to have to do a lot of editing on that because it was a lot too much swearing in that video. I don't want to put up that much swearing. So I will, uh, I'll leave some of it, but not all of it. Yeah, I am just so excited the boys won this. They found a way, folks. I guess that's the theme of tonight. Sabres find a way to win. They found a way. And if I'm New Jersey, I don't want to play Buffalo right now. Not with... <laughs> I just, I'd rather play like Detroit. You know, I, I don't want to play Buffalo right now. Remember beginning of the year? How many of you Buffalo fans were saying how much better Detroit was going to be than us this year? Where are they now? Okay? Enough of that, that negative thinking. God, I still remember that. Oh, look, we did nothing. We sat down. All these teams got better. Okay, so? Teams are supposed to try and get better. This is what teams do. You know, you're supposed to try and get better, but the Sabres, we got to go with the plan. You know, I think a lot of people are kind of warming up to it that were frust that real frustrated fans that are just you know they only care about winning and losing and that's it they don't care about all the build of the team they don't care about that they just care about what the losses and wins say and that's it it's gonna take uh maybe three years to get where we want to be i'm not saying playoffs no we should be a playoff team next year i'm talking where we want to be as as a franchise like steady good lineage of young talent in our farm all that stuff a culture that is fresh and forever there now that kind of thing you know so i'm gonna leave it there guys i'm too pumped about this one i'm really excited i'm so happy the boys won this game i'm so happy we are alive till tomorrow night at least and if we win tomorrow if we win tomorrow no matter what we're still alive I'm sure I'm right saying that. Oh yeah, of course. Nobody else plays tomorrow. Yeah. The only way we can be out tomorrow is if we lose in regulation. So if the Sabres can, can just win tomorrow, we'll be alive and well going into the final two games and we'll just see if we get some luck. We'll just need one day of luck where everything goes our way. So the last game of the year would be what we need to win to get in. You know, we would need, well, we'd have to beat Ottawa. That's, no, that's not an easy task either. This Ottawa team is a good young team. They want to go out. They want to close their season on a winning note for sure. And they want to be the team that 
wreck somebody's season. So I, I, and I get that thinking. I understand what Ottawa will be trying to do 100%. They will be coming at us to end our season for sure. So we'll have to look out for that. Columbus, I'm pretty sure, guys, we will not find a way to lose. If we have a chance to clinch a playoff spot and we have Columbus, then tell me how you guys would feel all of a sudden. You know, come on. We'd be feeling pretty good going into that last game. We'd be nervous, but we'd be feeling pretty good, right? So, done. I've said enough. I've had enough visits. And Rosie wants to go out. She says, I want to go out. Yes, I do. You want to go out, eh? Yeah, she's twisting her head. She wants to go out. No, no, watch my wire. Watch my wire. Come on. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this one. And the boys, stay alive. See you tomorrow.